So this video is going to be about was Sakura Haruno useful in the Naruto series. So first, let me cover the original Naruto series. Sakura Haruno, um, she was in love with Sasuke, and she said her goal was to be the per to be with the person that she loves, or for the person that she loves to notice her as well, which never happened throughout the original Naruto series. So that was her goal as a shinobi, like really. Um, she she excelled during the tuning exams writing writing portion. She answered majority of the hard questions without cheating. So I guess she has intelligence, which is a great thing. But as she as she she know be, was she really useful during the tuning exams? The physical part of the exam, she was captured. Sasuke had to rescue her. She's crying and stuff, and Sasuke is basically was basically the white knight of her. So he protected her. So she was useless during the tuning exams. Now, let's move on. Um, during the first Naruto series, Sakura during the first major arc, which was the Sawusa arc, she was useless once again, not being able to do anything to combat Sabusa or even Haku. Naruto and Sasuke were the ones that had to step it up and actually defeat Haku. Well, they didn't. They defeated Haku, but. Kakashi dealt the finishing blow. Sakura didn't do anything there once again. The majority of the original Naruto series, Sakura just kept crying or in fear. Naruto and Sasuke had to rescue her, which was really annoying. She couldn't even stop Sasuke from leaving the village as Sasuke knocked, <laughs> knocked her out and put her to sleep and just left the village. Which shows that Sasuke didn't care about Sakura. But Sasuke's personality is really persistent. She kept chasing after Sasuke, even though he expressed no emotion of love towards her as she expressed to him. So she's just a zombie towards Sasuke. So that's another flaw of Sakura as a shinobi. If Sasuke is in danger and she has to sacrifice her life or something, I bet that she'll probably do it as well, which is really stupid. So later on throughout the series, Sakura becomes Tsunade's student. And in Naruto Shippuden, we see that Sakura, she has gained incredible strength, physical strength, and she's an amazing medical shinobi. She does a lot of medical ninjutsu. And I'm not just going to bash Sakura in this video. Sakura is an amazing shinobi um, in terms of intelligence uh, and healing people she's a really she is one of the key elements of the naruto's of the naruto squads because if a teammate is injured she could heal her she could heal him or her which is a really useful thing that's why she plays such a pivotal role in the squad so saying that she did help a lot um healing people but the thing is even in naruto she put in the major battles like Everybody likes to say Sakura defeated Sasori. First of all, if Chiyo was not there controlling Sakura with her strings, dodging all those poison needles, she would have died right there. Because if one of those needles hit, those are poisons without really an antidote prepared right away. So she would have died that instant. So it was if it wasn't for Chiyo, Sakura would have died. And you might say, oh, Sakura may have found another loophole to combat Sasori, but I don't see no other loophole if a bunch of spikes are coming towards you, even if you punch the ground, one of them, one of them may pierce through something and hit you in the arm without you noticing and you die right there. So that was one of the major fights that Sakura was in. Um, there's also another fight during the fourth grade Shinobi War where she's like, I'm tired of being protected by you two, Naruto and Sasuke, she was meaning, and she unlocked her thing, diamond thing on her head, I forgot the name of it, she rushes to her Madara, and that's a little crack, and, but it's nothing, like, she became, she becomes useless right away, because Naruto and Sasuke are on a whole nother level than her, so she was not really useful in that, she was useful in the fourth grade ninja war, healing people, and stuff like that, but that's all, Sakura as a medical shinobi, she's really useful, but as a shinobi overall, like, 
she's not that useful. Her techniques in medical ninjutsu are really amazing, but I would never see Sakura as a Hokage or anything like that. Also, in the Naruto she put in series, Sakura once again crying for Sasuke, saying Naruto, please save Sasuke, and even lies to Naruto in one part of the series and says, I love you, you can stop chasing Sasuke now. She lies straight to his face and Naruto was really mad about it. It's, it's just... Sasuke, not Sasuke, Sakura's character, she's not annoying. She was useful in the series at times, like defeating Sasori and here and there, healing um, teammates when it was really critical. But other than that, Sakura, Sakura's feats are nothing, like, compared to what everybody else has done. Even Tsunade has done more than Sakura, Sakura in the series. So overall, was Sakura a useful character in the Naruto series? I named a lot of wrongs with her character and stuff, and I I have to say, she was not useful in the Naruto series because she was a crybaby for most of the series. She did heal teammates and stuff, but that doesn't mean that nobody else could have done that.